Have you ever wondered about the bewitching colors that dance across the sky in the polar regions of our planet? This mesmerizing spectacle, known as the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis, is a sight to behold. A celestial ballet that paints the heavens in hues of green, pink, yellow, blue, and violet. It's a spectacle that has captured the imagination of mankind for centuries. Up in the polar regions, where the air is crisp and the landscapes are blanketed in a coat of pristine white, the night sky transforms into a canvas. It is here that the most spectacular light show on Earth plays out. This isn't any ordinary light show, though. This is the Aurora Borealis, an ethereal display that seems to be from another world. Imagine standing beneath a sky ablaze with waves of color that ripple, swirl, and dart across the inky blackness. It's a sight that can make the most seasoned traveler's heart race with excitement. The northern lights are a spectacle that has inspired awe and wonder in those fortunate enough to witness their beauty. But what causes these dazzling displays? How do particles from the sun interact with Earth's atmosphere to create such a spectacle? And why are the lights most often seen in the polar regions? These are all questions that scientists have sought to answer. The northern lights aren't just a feast for the eyes, they're a fascinating scientific phenomenon. They're a testament to the complex and beautiful interplay between our planet and the sun. They're a reminder of the incredible forces at work in our universe. So, are you ready to delve into the mysteries of the Northern Lights? Are you ready to unravel the secrets of this celestial spectacle? Join us on this journey as we explore the science, the beauty and the mystique of the Aurora Borealis. In the next few minutes we are going to unravel the mysterious phenomenon of the Northern Lights. So, what exactly are these Northern Lights that paint the polar skies with a palette of vivid hues? Well, to truly appreciate this celestial spectacle, we must journey beyond our terrestrial confines and explore the heart of the sun. The sun is more than just a glowing orb in the sky. It's a cauldron of intense energy, spewing out streams of charged particles known as solar wind. This solar wind, invisible to the naked eye, races across the vacuum of space at incredible speeds, heading straight for our planet. Now our Earth, in its infinite wisdom, has a shield of sorts. It's called the magnetic field. This protective barrier, invisible yet incredibly powerful, deflects most of the solar wind. However, some particles manage to sneak in, primarily around the magnetic poles. Here's where the magic happens. As these charged particles sneak into our atmosphere, they get busy. They start to collide with the gases present in our atmosphere, oxygen, nitrogen. Each collision results in a little burst of light. Now, imagine billions of these tiny bursts happening simultaneously. What you get is a celestial ballet of lights, a silent symphony that we call the Northern Lights, or Aurora Borealis. It's fascinating, isn't it? The Northern Lights are not just a feast for our eyes, but also a testament to the inherent beauty of science. It's a cosmic dance choreographed by the very laws of physics a dance that takes place about 60 to 200 miles above our heads. And the best part? This dance is happening right now, even as we speak in the polar regions of our planet. But it's not just about the science. The Northern Lights have a special place in our collective consciousness. They have inspired countless myths, legends, and artworks, a testament to their timeless allure. But how do these scientific interactions result in the glorious colors we see? Stay tuned. Stay. Ever noticed the variety of colors in the Northern Lights and wondered why they are so? Well, the secret lies in the science of the atmosphere. The Aurora Borealis, or Northern Lights, are a spectacular display of colors that dance in the night sky. But what gives these lights their distinctive hues? The answer is a beautiful blend of physics and chemistry. The Earth's atmosphere is composed of various types of gas particles. When these particles interact with charged particles from the sun, they get excited and emit light, a process known as ionization. This process is similar to what happens in a neon light. But unlike a neon light, the colors we see in the northern lights are not just one hue, but a veritable spectrum. 
The type of gas particle and the altitude at which the interaction occurs determine the colors of the lights. Oxygen, for instance, when excited, emits green or red light. The green light is the most common and you'll usually see it at altitudes between 60 and 240 kilometers. The red light, less common, is typically observed at higher altitudes. On the other hand, nitrogen, another component of our atmosphere, tends to produce blue or purple light when it interacts with solar particles. These colors are usually visible at extreme heights and lower altitudes, respectively. So, the next time you see a picture of the northern lights, or better yet, witness this celestial spectacle in person, remember the science behind the scenes. It's not just a stunning display of colors, but a testament to the fascinating processes happening in our atmosphere every day. The northern lights are a natural canvas, and the Earth's atmosphere is the artist, using solar particles as its paintbrush. The result is a stunning masterpiece that fills the night sky with a riot of colors, a sight that has captivated humans for centuries. But these lights aren't just a feast for the eyes, they have a significant place in folklore and culture too. Did you know that the northern lights hold a special place in the folklore of the indigenous people of the polar regions? These ethereal lights have been the source of countless myths and legends, each as captivating as the phenomenon itself. The indigenous Sami people of Scandinavia, for instance, believed the northern lights were the energies of the departed. These lights were revered, and it was thought that disrespectful behavior towards them could lead to calamity. Halfway across the world, the Inuit of Alaska had a different interpretation. They imagined the lights as the spirits of animals they hunted seals, salmon, deer, and whales. These spectral illuminations were seen as a reminder of the cycle of life and a connection to the natural world around them. Moving eastward to Canada, the Cree saw the northern lights as a representation of the afterlife. In their lore, it was believed that these lights were the spirits of their ancestors, dancing in the next world. This belief instilled a sense of continuity and comfort providing a tangible link between the living and the departed. And then, there's the folklore of the Maori of New Zealand. For them, the Southern Lights, or Aurora Australis, was seen as a sign from their ancestors, a harbinger of something significant on the horizon. Even in modern times, these captivating tales continue to enrich our understanding of the Northern Lights. They remind us that while we may now comprehend the scientific reasons behind this phenomenon, there was a time when these lights were an enchanting mystery, a source of storytelling, and an integral part of cultural identity. Each tale, each legend, is a thread in the rich tapestry of human culture, woven together by the shared experience of witnessing this celestial spectacle. These stories are testament to the universal human instinct to seek meaning in the natural world, to connect the terrestrial with the celestial, the known with the unknown. While these stories add charm to the northern lights, there is also a practical aspect to consider. Besides being a visual spectacle, have you ever wondered if the northern lights have a practical aspect too? Well, let's delve into that, shall we? The northern lights, or aurora borealis, are not just a feast for our eyes. They play a pivotal role in providing valuable data to scientists. The dancing lights are, in fact, a visual manifestation of solar activity. Each flicker, each wave of color, tells us a story about what's happening on the sun's surface. When the sun emits charged particles, they interact with the Earth's magnetic field, creating this radiant spectacle. Scientists use these occurrences to study and monitor solar activity. This is vital, as solar flares can impact our technology, particularly satellite communications and power grids. So, in a sense, the northern lights serve as a barometer of potential solar storms. But that's not all. The northern lights are also a window into understanding our planet's magnetic field. You see, the Earth's magnetic field is not static, it's dynamic, constantly changing and shifting. 